All right, so today I'm doing a, a quick video, maybe just a couple of minutes. We're reviewing uh, Timothy Dixon. And you can see the title of this video. It's very disturbing. So I wanted to make sure that we oppose him publicly uh, because not only is he false prophet, but he's a creep. And we're going to point this out. I'm going to let this play a couple of minutes as we go, just so you can see that I have not taken him out of context. So here we go. I mean, but I want to I read a dream to you here that uh, I've had. I dreamed that I was standing at the Potomac River with a few more prophetic voices as we stood there on the banks looking at the river. Amanda Gray spoke and said, look, the river has changed courses. It's turned towards the House of Representatives. But Amanda was not calling it the House of Representatives. She, she said, it has turned headed for the Senate. Hank Kuderman, me, Robin Bullock, Amanda Grace, we were all standing up forward to the turn. So this man is having a dream. The whole gang's there, a bunch of false prophets, the super friends of false prophets. And so why does Timothy Dixon do this? Well, because he's a weirdo, because he likes to flatter the other prophets, tell fake fantasy dreams about them. And uh, I guess there's not a better way to, to say it, to just suck up to them and try to flatter them. And sadly, it works. But it also has another part to play, and that is, uh, giving the listeners uh, sort of a fantasy in this dream where they can envision all these prophets together, battling evil, so on and so forth. It's all about fantasy, but I'll let them continue. Turn of the river, looking, looking at it and talking with one another. And Robin said, look, look at the violent nature of the turn of the river. It's not been like this before. That's an act of God. It's what Robin was saying. As we stood there, you could hear a violent wind sound. It was a sound of a violent twister on the ground. We all looked towards the sound and seen the twister. It was setting right in the middle of the Potomac River. Its wind had almost like part of the apology. This man is licking his fingers and it's absolutely disgusting. This is 1922. So I, I apologize that you have to see that water. But it was a path that was parted. It was not a path that was parted. It was like a, a perimeter circle around the whirlwind that the twister had sucked up the water around it and moving forward towards the White House and the Senate. This, this is so painful. This man is the slowest talker. I'm so sorry. I don't know why I just feel like laughing at him. This, this is a grown man who's sitting at a table. He wrote this fantasy down and he's broadcasting this worldwide for everybody to hear. Uh, and, and I can't figure out who would want to hear this, but apparently it works. Uh, so forgive me for laughing. And in the very front of this of the of the twister was Julie Green. She was kneeling down down on her knees. She had a sword in her hands, and it was sticking down in the earth, in the ground in front of her. And she had both hands on the sword, leaning on it, talking in tongues. So, so that tells you what Timmy, Timmy feels about Julie. He absolutely adores her. Julie is Superman. So he's the head of the, the uh, League of Justice here. She's in uh, front position. She's on her knees. She's got a sword. So very uh, knightly. And she's, she's doing the main battle here. She's speaking in tongues. They're all backing her up. So here's Julie makes the scene, and wow, the fans go wild. Praying. It was a tongue of prayers that she was praying in the Holy Ghost. Me and Amanda joined hands as we looked back towards 
the sound. That's when Amanda grabbed my hand. We started walking to. So why is this grown married man telling about dreams where him and Amanda Grace are holding hands? And this is really the heart of this video. Now we know Timothy is a weirdo, a pervert. He has told previous dream fantasies about him walking buck naked with Robin Bullock. You want to talk about one of the most disturbing moments in social media prophetic history. That's it right there. But now he's coming out with a dream, although not as shocking, still very, very wrong. This man, Timothy Dixon, is married. Amanda Grace, married. And here he's got a dream where they're together. And he says they held hands. And then Amanda reached out to hold his hand. And my question is, why? What does that have to do? What does all this have to do with the gospel of Jesus Christ? Well, nothing. This man is a weirdo. And he feels that this is perfectly normal to tell the world about this. And I have to wonder what Amanda Grace thinks about this, her being married and all. But this weirdo has no problem in telling this. And it's very disturbing. I can tell you that if any man professing to be a man of God or a Christian came out and told the world a video that he was dreaming about my wife and that he was holding her hand, there's going to be trouble. There's going to be a lot of trouble. But again, this speaks to the absolute lunacy of Timothy Dixon. And so we want to make sure we get this out public uh, so that we can further expose this absolute weirdo false prophet. Towards Julie, Hank and Robin had their hands lifted in the air, prophesying to the whirlwind. Amanda and I was headed towards Julie. There was a sound coming from the whirlwind that sounded like an old steam engine train. Steam engine Julie train. started screaming out to us saying, run. run. Hey, that, that sounds like an old steam engine train. <laughs> it's like a thousand other examples he could have used. He said an old steam engine train. Just kind of funny. Run, run. You have to carry the word. Keeps licking his fingers. Of the prophetic to the Oval Office. Speak it over the office. We all have to unite. Got to get that word over the Oval Office. Why do you suppose that is? Well, it's all about Donald Trump. It always is. And again, will anything come of this dream? Nothing will come of this dream. This is sheer entertainment for the weirdo fans out there. I'm not trying to be mean. I should, I, maybe I shouldn't say it like that. But it is true because they are fanatics. They've thrown away the truth and they love hearing these fantasy stories about their prophets doing battle with evil and it's always them that are coming to save the day they're the ones doing the battle they're taking the word they're going to get it to the oval office they're the heroes so this is why timothy does this sadly it works night our offices of the lord god jehovah as we turn as we turned away from the area We were standing at there, and there was a, a voice that sounded like thunder being spoke from the heavens, started speaking to me, and Amanda Grace. It was saying, run, run, you can't tarry. And the word of the Lord had been released before the, the word of the Lord has to be released before the stroke of midnight is what it was saying. Good grief. So here... Uh, Timmy is incorporating Disney rules into his fantasy. Apparently, the word of the Lord has to get to the Oval Office before midnight. What happens? I don't know. Maybe the word turns into a pumpkin. I don't know. But it's just psychotic, isn't it? Again, this is a man-child. I'm not sure if this man has been tested. He may need to be committed. I'm not trying to be mean. Again, let's reiterate. He's bragging about holding hands with another man's wife another woman who's not his wife. And now he's saying that the Lord is thundering, hurry up, get the word, uh, because apparently God's word is only good until midnight. I don't know. That's Walt Disney, right? We started running at a fast pace towards the White House. 
you imagine Timothy Dixon running at a fast pace? Come on. Or Amanda Grace. As we entered into the front lawn, Rose and Chris were sitting in a horse-drawn carriage. So Rose is his wife. Chris is Amanda's husband. And he's got them sitting in a horse-drawn carriage. There's more Disney. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what to say. Look at his face. He's serious about this. And again, what does this have to do with the gospel of Jesus Christ? Nothing. This is pure fantasy on his part. Why is his wife and Amanda's husband together? Well, ask him. He's the weirdo. I have to, again, I have to think Amanda cannot be happy with this. He's telling stories about holding hands with her. There was a team of horses hitched, six white horses, to the carriage. They was there waiting on me and Amanda to arrive when the word of the Lord... Did you hear the wording there? They, the horses, were waiting for him and Amanda to arrive. Now, that's a together thing. It's very, very strange. I'm trying not to be mean. A lot of Disney fantasy, you know, Cinderella type overtones here. And he's holding hands with another man's wife. Or with the word of the Lord, Chris was holding the reins of the carriage. He's got Chris as the chauffeur. Amanda's husband has got the reins of the carriage. They're going to get into the carriage, I'm guessing. I don't know. I mean, but he's got Chris playing the chauffeur. He's got Amanda's husband <laughs> playing the chauffeur. Setting, sitting in the front seat, and Rose was sitting in the back seat. Ugh. The horses was prancing in place. See <laughs> so why why do you need to know that? Why well, I, I guess they they're excited to see Amanda and Timothy, right? The the uh, the the prince and the princess have arrived, so the horses are prancing in place. And so this, I'm going to stop this right here. I just wanted to do this because it's sick. And and people need to tell this man to shut up, right? Amanda Grace should be outraged that this man is telling the world fantasy Disney dreams about her and then holding her hand. And I have to wonder how Chris feels about this. This man is a sicko. An absolute sicko. And he needs to stop this. Timothy, if you're listening, take your video down, you absolute pervert. And I will take this down. But it, it, it's, it's wrong. Please, knock it off. I mean, good grief. We, we're all... I, I just need to make sure that I don't say something in anger. This is wrong. So I'm going to end this video right here and uh, leave your comments. Um, take this down, Timothy. It's absolutely cringe. It's embarrassment. It has nothing to do with the gospel of Jesus Christ. For crying out loud, grow up.